you were a baby, you prayed to me. Tongue tasting eternity, the remnant of heaven lining your lungs, you were young. And so much in awe of the world. The girl, just barely a woman, your mother, you loved her, but recognized that she was my bosom. And your father, a young man then, he was my hands, and I was holding you and molding you. And it didn't take much for you to come when I called you to. When you were seven years old, you saw me in street signs. My heart, red as stop, eyes green as go, and you would just know that dancing yourself dizzy around light poles, digging yourself holes to China in sandboxes wouldn't go unnoticed. Peering at the clouds in the sky, searching for my eyes, you wouldn't see them, but you knew I was watching. An audience of one, there was no stopping you from trying to impress me with creativity like father, like son, and you came to me whenever I asked you to come. You heard that raindrops from heaven were my tears, and lightning was meant to strike fear into the hearts of those who were led astray, the hearts of those who disobeyed, so you were scared of me then, because you knew I knew you broke your neighbor's window, flushed your sister's cat or some such like that, and because of those sins, you would begin to hide yourself from me, and you wouldn't come as often as I called you to in high school. You didn't know if you wanted to be friends anymore, because you heard that I've been known to start wars and you weren't sure if that was something you agreed with. And since you couldn't find me in calculus, biology, or in theories of evolution, you wondered if all those memories of us were just pollution, an impossible equation with no practical solution. How would you explain my existence? And since you'd never seen me and weren't sure if you agreed with me anyway, you wondered if this made you an atheist. And you started refusing to come when I called you to. And the road back home seemed so far to you, too far to walk there without losing what seemed so valuable, identity. So we became enemies. Come as you are, as you were. that friend in college who asked you what I thought about people who called themselves gay made you wonder what I might say if you decided you were that way would I still love you when that's all I ever wanted to do if only you would come but the road back home seemed known only to younger versions of yourself much more foolish than you much more susceptible to bullies and bully pulpits and not skeptical enough to rightly judge, you held a grudge against me because of what you thought I wanted you to be. And all this time, I was only ever asking you to come back to me, back to me, back to me. If your back is to me, how can we talk? How can we walk through the things that surround, the things that have bound you to this world and have made you forget about home, made you roam as a slave in a world I've always intended for you to own, and yes, there will be a price to pay for all of this. There will be sacrifice to lay down along the way, but it's worth it. Remember stop signs. Remember green eyes. Remember digging your way to China. Nothing could stop you then. Just come doused in mud or soaked in bleach. We don't have to be enemies. My arms can reach and you can come to me as a friend, as a friend as an old memory. Come.